I really want to talk about Michigan. I really want to talk about Michigan and Texas. And I really want to do it from this position of quarterback. Because I have been banging on Donovan Edwards because I need Donovan Edwards to show me he can do something in the regular season other than against Ohio State. Okay, cool. You went for 216 in 2022. Before that, only other time you rushed for 100 yards or more, Rutgers, November 5th, 2022. Since then, you ain't done nothing, dog. Not in the regular season. People going to keep pointing to that Washington game. Fine, do that. Go ahead. But we ain't in the college football playoff. We ain't in the national championship game. You still got to get there. And right now, you need Donovan Edwards more than you've ever needed Donovan Edwards to be Donovan Edwards. You are unproven at wide receiver. I know how much y'all like Moore. I know how much y'all like Morgan. You're unproven at wide receiver. At quarterback, you might have the shallowest room you've had since John O'Corn and Wilton Spate. And there are people that are watching this show right now. They're going, who the hell is that? Exactly. The last person that they remember before, Cade McNamara, is Shea Patterson. And y'all had some movement between now and then. So now, knowing that you got to ride it out with Donovan Edwards, who was just 11 rush for 27 uh, yards, and I got people up in the comments over here talking about, RJ, we didn't show nothing. Well, you better show something. You, You better show something. I don't need you in no dog fight with Fresno State, 16 to 10. They're like, hey, RJ, they won 10 games last year. With Jeff Tedford as head coach, he ain't the head coach no more. It matters. They came to your house in the opener, beat them like they stole something. Show me dominance. Show me excellence. Hey, RJ, let them grow into who they're going to be. Hell no. We playing football now. No, 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 no. Don't give me that two, three game season BS. I don't do that. No. We're playing football now. Beat them like a drum. Stop a mud hole in them and walk it dry. I don't want to hear nothing about they need time to gel. That's what preseason's for. That's what summer's for. That's what offseason is for. Come come game one, I need you to show up and want to hurt somebody. I don't I don't do with all this grow into it. Yeah, just, just, yeah, we're we're gonna be better as time goes on. That might be true, but that ain't what I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. We're not sharp. We need to be sharper. We need to be a razor's edge. I need you to do that from here to January 20th if you are who you say you are. You know, all this talk from Michigan fans, and I'm I'm still trying to hear from y'all going, do y'all think y'all going to win a national championship? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm asking, do you think you're going to win a national championship because you ain't talking like you expect to win a national championship? Otherwise, what are we talking about? If you want to be in the Big Ten title game, fine, great, cool. Good for you. Good for you. You want a trophy? You want a participation trophy? Would that make you feel better? Hmm? That we acknowledge that you're Michigan? Because you are. We know. Winning this program of all time, we know. It's 2024. I don't give a damn about what you did anymore. I want to see what you're doing right now. You got a Texas team coming to your house that's looking to take your head off. What you going to show? I don't want to hear none of that, dog. I need Donovan Edwards to be the dog that everybody tells me he is. And I need him to be a dog when they're not playing Ohio State or in a conference championship or national championship game. Be a dog full time. You can't just be a dog when it's convenient. You got the seven on your chest. You're wearing a single digit, dog. Act like it. That's all I'm asking for. Go hammer. Go hammer like the quarterback. That's where I want to go with this, man. Davis Warren has said he's getting to do and tell a story that many kids don't get to tell. And Dan Wetzel did a great write-around about Davis Warren that I think is worth unpacking here on the show. Because I was asking myself, how does David Warren end up being the starting quarterback at Michigan when we had heard everything there is to hear about Alex Orgy? A dude that Lincoln Riley was even offered, right? So Davis Warren is a fighter. And a hustler, and I'm here for the fighters. I'm here for the hustlers. I'm here for the hard hat Harry's. I'm here for the, the, the tryhards. Show me what you are made of. Yeah, all right, talent, cool. I've beaten talent. I will continue to beat talent. I will rough talent up. How hard are you? Davis Warren seems to be hard. Need to be a little bit better quarterback than he was against Fresno State, but he hard as hell. You know how I know he hard as hell? He's diagnosed with leukemia when he was 15. That's 2019. His first thought after he learned his diagnosis was, am I going to die? 
You know what his second thought was? When can I play football? Your first, your first thought is the one that I think we all would have. Your second thought is, when can I play football? Yeah, all right. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. But we'll keep going here, right? Because the survival rate for children with leukemia is 66%. For adults, it's 29.5%. It's still hard as hell when it's you. Treatment can take up to eight months. And that dude set a goal to go play football. He lost 40 pounds. He needed to pass blood tests to show he had enough platelets to play high school football. And when he didn't pass, he would drink papaya juice trying to up the level of platelets for the next one. Whether or not it worked, he got to play in the next ball game. And then, like millions of high school football players, he was robbed of his senior season of playing high school football. For me, that was always one of the coolest things that happened to me. And I, I missed five weeks due to a motorcycle accident. My black ass decided it was, it was cool to take my 1980 Honda CMT down the highway 75, doing 75. It went sideways. I went sideways with it, and I'm out sliding down the road for five weeks because, you know, that's how it goes. I was wearing a, I was wearing a lid. Y'all, those of y'all that don't wear lids on motorcycles, yeah, I can't, I can't help you. Wear, wear, wear your damn lid. Wear, wear, wear a lid. You know what I'm saying? Wear, wear a full face lid because if I'm not, I'm not talking to you. I'm not doing this show. So after being robbed of his high school season, he had transferred to Suffield Academy at K- in Connecticut, moved away from home so he could try to get better offers. Coaches knew what they had, so they were doing their damnness to try to get him a shot. One of the guys that picked up the phone was Jim Harbaugh. And Jim Harbaugh offered Warren a chance. He said, you can walk on a mission. He didn't say you have a scholarship. He didn't say that you weren't going to have to foot the bill. He said, you can walk on at Michigan. So he walked on at Michigan. And he stayed in the book. And he stayed in practice. And he was scout team player of the year. He was joined at K. McNamara's hip. And I asked myself, why does that dude want to do this? Why is he battling Alex Orgy like he's battling? You know, you've already won. You beat leukemia, my guy. And he said, my why is strong. You know what? His why is one of the most powerful whys in history. Kids in children's hospitals are fighting cancer every day. Yo, I think about the Iowa wave. I think about the kids that uh, come to that glass so they can watch the Hawkeyes wave back at them and then watch Kinnick wave back at them and how moving that is and how powerful that is. And then I think about Davis Warren, who is living their dream, got up out of that hospital fought his way onto a football field, and he started for Michigan week one, day one. And he gets to take Michigan into a fist fight with the Texas Longhorns for the first time in college football history in the regular season. So when Sharon Moore says it's easy for me, talk about a fighter, had cancer, senior year canceled due to COVID, came here as a walk-on, been a third-string guy since he got here, Every week, the coaches do a test. He always has 100 on the test. He's always taking notes. He's always doing the right thing. Yeah, okay. If the talent is equal, the character is not. And that's no shade to anybody in that quarterback room. There's no shade to anybody in anybody's quarterback room. But when you get diagnosed with cancer as a 15-year-old, and you choose to fight back. And you win. I'll tell you this, man. Davis Warren's going to do a lot of things. May win against Texas, may not. May end the season as starting quarterback, may not. But if you would never know another damn thing about that dude, 
hold that one close to your chest. All right. That's going to do it for tonight's live show. If you like the channel, if you like the show, please hit the subscribe button. We're up to 102,000 subscribers. Also, like 66% of the people that watch this show don't subscribe. 66%. You know, that means, dog, half a million people watched this show the last month. Half a million. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's awesome. It's ridiculous. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will see y'all live, if nothing else, Saturday night, but probably, you know, multiple times throughout the week because, well, we do segments on this show, and uh, we love talking college football. Goes.